Hi there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you just a general overview of Clicky so you can get a better idea of how you can use it. At the moment, I am in my ProSiteTutorials.com account because I just installed this on my other website so I still cannot see the traffic. Also, one of the greatest features of Clicky is that you can see in real time the people that go into your website. Also, with one account, you can actually track several websites. In this case, I just have one website, which is ProSiteTutorials.com, but if I had it at another website, I could see on this list the other website, in this case, the domain name. Also, this is the information for today. Unfortunately, I still didn't receive any visitors, but hopefully I will. But I can also see the reports for yesterday, two days ago, uh, last seven days, and so on. Let's see what exactly happened two days ago. Okay. So you can see that something happened on my website two days ago. So I'm going to really give you some, some explanation of what exactly you can see over here. But I must remind you about something. Is that, that some of the features you actually need to upgrade your account. It's really up to you because even with the free service of Clicky, it really offers you a lot of great information. If later on you want to get more details about the visitors, then you can actually upgrade your account. It's really up to you. Okay, so let's talk about what we can actually see on the dashboard. Under the basics, we can see that two days ago, I received five visitors. They took 16 actions on my website. That means that while they were on my website, they checked several pages. They took average actions uh, for five visitors in this case was 3.2. The total time for five visitors was four minutes and 40 seconds. And the average time per visitor was 56 seconds. And the bounce rate was 60%. You're probably wondering what exactly is the bounce rate? Well, that means that some of the visitors only saw one page of my website and they were there for the minimal time of 30 seconds. That's exactly what the bounce rate is. And this is something that you actually want to always try to reduce because a low bounce rate for a website means that the people that go over there, they really are interested on the content. Okay, on the graph, you can see also a lot of great information. You can see that someone came to my website at 7 a.m., another one at 9 a.m., and also at 10 a.m., and so on. So on this graph, you can see when people are actually going into your website. On links, you can see the link that someone used, or in this case, YouTube. Someone used YouTube and click on the link, very probably on the description from my video, and went to my website. So this is the kind of information that you can see on links. This can also be from Twitter, Facebook, and so on. On searches, in this case, I really don't have any information, but what you can actually see over here is the keywords that people use to find your website on Google, Yahoo, or any other platform out there. And this is really useful because this way you can see if your SEO efforts are actually working for you. If people are using the keywords that you want on your website to find, find it. So it's really useful. On local, you can see the countries of my visitors. Two visitors came from the United States, one from Thailand, another one from Canada, and the last one from India. Also, you can see the cities. In this case, two visitors came from San Lorenzo, another one from Ajax, and so on. Languages, in this case, five, from, five visitors from English. And org and host names are actually features that you need to upgrade so you can get it. On content, you can see the most view pages on your website. This is a great way. For example, you have a really fantastic post on your website. Very probably, it will receive a lot of visitors. And this way, you can see that people are really interested on that post. So over here, you can see in this case, this is my front page that received the five visitors and so on. Traffic sources, you can see that four visitors are direct traffic. This can be 
very probably that they inserted uh, the domain name to their browser and they went to my website but it, it can also be that they found a link on an email or on a book or so on this is what exactly is uh, direct traffic so so social media in this case was YouTube but it could also be Facebook Twitter and so on so this is what you can see on the dashboard really fantastic information you can go to visitors and even get more information about the visitors that came into your website. Over here you can see the IP address from this visitor that came from India. And you can see that this person only took one action and spent 10 seconds on my website. You can see that this last person from Thailand actually took 10 actions on my website and spent 3 minutes and 38 seconds then very probably this person was actually engaged on the content that they can see on my website. Also, you can click on actions and see exactly the pages that this person viewed on my website, as you can see. You can even see the platform that this person used to go to my website. In this case, this person used Chrome and has Windows XP and you can even see the resolution of the screen that this person used to view my website. You can also go to action log, get more detail about this, as you can see. Some of the features you actually need to upgrade, as you can see. Most active visitors was from the United States. Traffic sources. So this is pretty much what you already saw on the dashboard. You can also go to content, and in this case, you can see the pages that were the most viewed. Entrance. So this means that four, uh, four visitors came to my uh, front page, and then they, after that, they went to other pages on my website, and actually one visitor went first to my about page, and then very probably or left or went to another page on my website. And as you can see, other features over here you actually need to upgrade once again. In this case, I don't have any information about search searches because this means that someone actually needed to find my website using Google, Yahoo, and so on. You can also see the links. These are the links that people actually use to go to my website. In this case, just from YouTube. Platforms, this is the information that you saw already previously, but over here you can even get more details. Okay, so you can see that two visitors use Google Chrome. They use this version, which is 34.0, and one person used a more recent version of Google Chrome. Another visitor actually used Safari, and another one Internet Explorer. You can also get uh, more information about the operating systems of each person that goes to your website over here. Screen resolutions. Also, you can get more information about the locale. Let's see this one from Thailand. And the cool thing is that you can actually see on the map that this person came from Bangkok and you can see exactly from where over here on the map this is really fantastic also you have campaign and these are all features that you actually need to upgrade your account to get anyway you can see that even using the free options from click you still get really a lot of great information and it's really easy for you to analyze the information from the traffic that you receive to your website as you can see so that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed and that was helpful and once again if you have any question just leave it below i will try to reply as quickly as possible so that is all for now stay tuned with pro tutorials and bye